I'm going to show you the two major methods for multiplying polynomials. Um, that you really, usually you would either distribute or you stack and multiply. Uh, you're going to probably find a preference. Depends on the problem. You'll pick which one you like better. Uh, distributing, I take every piece of the first polynomial and send it to every piece of the second polynomial. So this 4R squared goes to both pieces behind it. So 4R squared times 4R is 16R cubed. And 4R squared times negative 8 is negative 32R squared. I apologize for the handwriting. All right, stack and multiply. I take the smallest polynomial, cross it out, and bring it down below. Oh, that looks bad. And then multiply it like I was in elementary school to everything else. 4R squared times negative 8, negative 32, pretend that's a 2, r squared, and 4r squared times 4r is 16r cubed. Either one's perfectly fine. Now, is it the same thing, even if it's uglier? Every piece goes to every piece if I'm distributing. 8n times n is 8n squared. 8n times negative 1 is negative 8n. Um, negative 7 times n is negative 7n. And negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. Now I combine like terms. These guys are the same. So I have 8n squared. Negative 8n, negative 7 is negative 15n, and then the plus 7 on the end. On this one, uh, I'm going to move the n minus 1 down. Right, I'll move the, yeah, I'll move the n minus 1 down because it looks simpler. Draw a line, and now I'm multiplying. It doesn't like that. All right. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Negative 1 times 8n is negative 8n. I put in a 0, go to the next guy, n times negative 7, negative 7n, and n times 8n is 8n squared. Draw a line, and I add straight down, 8n squared minus 15n, and plus 7. Same answer either way. Here's the pros and cons that I see. When I'm distributing, I end up saving space. It doesn't take as much room for me to write. Sometimes that help is helpful if you tend to cram things in and you need to not have problems running into each other. This one will kind of keep it organized. Stack and multiply takes up more space, but it does, if every piece is in standard form, and you're not missing any terms, if you put in zeros for anything that's missing or anything like that, they all have the same terms. When you multiply it out, all your like terms line up right underneath each other. So you don't have to go hunting. You'll see in a second when the ugly problems, that makes a big difference. All right, so those are my pros and cons. Let's go to the next guy. This is where it starts to get uglier. So 2m there gives me 8m cubed. 2m goes here, gives me negative 6m squared. 2m for that gives me 4m. Grab a different color. Negative 6. 4m squared, negative 24m squared. Negative 6 in that gives me positive 18m. See what I'm saying about space being an issue. And negative 6 in that gives me negative 12. Now I have to go hunt down my like terms. I have 8m cubed. It's going to actually write. That's that one. I have an m squared there, m squared there. That's going to be negative 30. m squared. I have an m there and an m there. That's going to be plus 22. 
m, and then I have a minus 12 left over. Same problem. Now I'm going to just cross this guy out and bring him down. 2m minus 6. Draw my line. Now I'm multiplying. All right. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Negative 6 times negative 3m is positive 18m. Negative 6 times 4m squared, negative 24 m squared, pretend that's a good 2, I'm going to change colors just because, I put in a 0, 2m and 2 is 4m, 2m and negative 3 is negative 6m squared, 2m times that is 8m cubed, Draw a line. If you have bad handwriting like me, lining up your like terms is very helpful. So that gives me 8m cubed. Line up straight there. That's negative 30m squared. And right there is plus 22m. And then minus 12. Personally, I will distribute if it's really simple, if it's a straightforward thing. But when it starts getting ugly like this, that is where stack and multiply, to me, starts gaining some strength. Um, and I'm going to let you all play with it. And, or I'm going to let you all figure things out, try out a couple, and we'll see how it goes from there.